once I was anorexic when I was uh, 17, I caught it. I really feel like I caught it. It's just like one day I didn't eat because I was nervous because I had a date with like it was my first. This guy had a crush on all of high school. We like I won a date with him in some kind of charity thing. We were doing like a singled out. You know, that show on MTV. We did it for high school. I won a date with this guy and he was way out of my league. And he actually kind of liked me. And so I got so nervous about it. I didn't eat all day. So the next day, oh. I got some girl was like that. I've always wanted her attention was like, Nikki, you look amazing. It was the first thing I was ever good at. First thing wow. I was ever like actually good at was like not eating. And then we graduated and I was hospitalized like within uh, Oh my a God. I mean, it was, it was bad. I really wanted to die and I was going to and I couldn't wait for it. Every morning I would wake up and go, I got to do this again. And I... I had written notes to my parents to say goodbye that I would sleep with under my pillow because I just knew I was going to die. Wow. But then I found stand up and it's I, it sounds ridiculous. But this, the first time I did stand up, I got off stage and I called my dad and I cried. We both were crying because we both knew like this was the they thought they were going to lose me. They had kind of wrung their hands of it and given up because I wasn't going to eat. And there was just nothing they could really do at this point. I was an adult. I could check myself out of the hospital at this point. I was admitted when I was still a kid. And so there was nothing they could do. But when I called my dad and I was like, I, I know what I want to do. I found it. And I was like, and it, the next day I called the counseling service at uh, CU Boulder. And I said, um, I have an eating disorder and I want to, I want to get help for it. And cause I was like, okay, I got I got to beat this because now I have something I actually want to do and I'm good at, and I, I something to live for. You mean the first time you went up to a club, you were good. You were good enough that you knew that this was what you should be doing. It was the first time I had ever felt like I was the best of this whole show. Like I, I had, wow. I had a knack, you know, I knew I was, I even told my dad, I go, it's going to take me. I said, eight years. You're going to have to maybe support me and kind of just, just wait, but it's going to take that long. And that's the problem with comedy. Like, you can start singing and acting when you're a four-year-old girl. And by the time you're 24, you've been doing it 20 years. You're a pro. That's why the, but comedy, no one's, you can't get in clubs till you're 18. So you start, I, you need 10 years to get really good at something. So I said eight years, cause I'm going to work a little bit harder. And I swear to God, it was like eight years on the dot that I uh, got my first TV show. And my dad, he remembered like the email that I'd sent about the eight years and, and, and timed it out. But the out. first so time right. you went up on stage, you were funny, but you didn't have any written material. Well, the first time I did stand up, I was just like, what do you even do? Like, how do you do this? I don't even know what this is. Someone told me I should be a comedian. A bunch of people were telling me, and this is when I'm, I'm like about to drop dead. And I'm like, okay. And then my friend is like, there's a, there's a show on campus going on. She like stole the flyer and was like, you're doing this show. I signed you up. I mean, this, it's, it, this really happened this way. And I go, okay, I guess. So I just, I typed in like comedy, stand-up comedy woman and Sarah Silverman pops up. And I obviously I had been aware of her, but like, I wasn't like a huge stand-up fan. I was a huge Conan fan, Seinfeld, SNL. Like I loved comedy, but it, not in a way that I saw an end to it. And then when I saw Sarah Silverman, I was just like, okay, that's it. That's what I'm going to do. She's adorable. She's likable. I still, I want to be friends with her. She's so hot. And she's also saying insane things that I thought, I thought like, she was saying dark things that you shouldn't say out loud. And now people are liking her more because she said in a, in, on a stage, it was insane to me. So I just started writing jokes. Like I always tell comics that are just starting out, you don't know what, what you want to say. Just pretend you're writing for your favorite comic. And so I just wrote jokes like I was writing for Sarah. Mm. And I definitely had a knack for writing one-liner jokes. There was no question about it from the, from the get-go. 